I'm Elliot Hill. I'm the executive chef of the Chester Grosvenor here in Chester and restaurant Arkle. The dish I'm going to cook for you today is Herdwick Hoggett with lettuces and morels. So the dish will be the sort of main meat course on, our, on both our menus, um, of our full tasting and our five course. Um, we're using Herdwick Hoggett. Hoggett's obviously a, a little bit older than lamb. Um, and I think it's 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 got more flavour. It's slightly bigger. And using Herdwick is a, it's a fantastic breed. It's it's native to the Lake District. It's fed on on forage, and it's it's a wonderful product. Absolutely wonderful. So it's very easy to use in, in terms of you don't need to do too much to it. So we get the whole saddle of the Herdwick, and we essentially just take it down. So we treat the process that you know we want to think about what we're doing for the end product. So we want to keep the fat on the on the on the loin. So we take the little uh, mignons off, the filet mignons off first, we then turn it over and then we slice through right against the bone to make sure we get as much of the, the loin as possible, keeping the fat off. Once that's off, we take a little bit of the skin off as well, so then we can treat it really nicely. Lamb fat is one of the most beautiful ingredients in the world, and I think it's a shame when people ask for no fat because it's delicious. So we, can, we leave the fat on. We use the bones for the sauce and we use the breasts where we, again, take sinew out, take skin off. We then uh, salt it, compress it. We use transglutamase to stick two together and then we slow cook it overnight. We then press it, slice it and refry it, sort of like a lamb bacon. And again, full of fat, but that's where the flavour is and that's where the luxury mouthfeel comes from. And we add that onto it as well. So we cook the lamb very simply. We, we, we have it in the water bath. Um, with very gentle rosemary, we don't overcomplicate it. It's poached to a temperature of 48 degrees then. We then render down the fat. So it doesn't matter about the colour, we want plenty of colour on the fat, so it's like got a nice texture to it. And then we're basting it in, again, a shed load of butter, because that's beautiful flavour. We want that lamb fat to go straight through the, the loin. It's why we've used the fat on the, on the lamb, um, to get that sort of protection to the beautiful sweet part of the loin but also have that luxury fatness go through that as well. Simply rested and carved. We don't overcomplicate it because it's such a good product that we just want it to sing for itself. Um, we have a stuffed morel. So we take all the trim from making the lamb bacon um, with a chicken mousse and just traditionally stuff that into the like, beautifully ripe, plump morel and then baste it in a, in a load of butter that isn't healthy, but we're not here for that. And then we have the lettuces. So we use a couple of forage lettuces. Um, we've got some wild chervil and some wild mustard leaves, as well as a Castel Franco, which is ice compressed then. Again, a really nice, sweet and fresh bite to the dish to sort of finish it off. So we start off the plating with the lettuce sauce um, straight on the bottom of the plate. And we use that as the signifier to where we build the dish around. Then we have the hung sheep yogurt and then we put the, the lamb itself on. So we've got the lamb, uh, bacon and lamb breast that's been pressed and, and we fried it onto the plate to build everything else on. The lamb loin that goes on next and then we build on the morels. The stuffed morels go on. Angus relish. And then we follow with the forage leaves and the Castel Franco as well. Finish off with plenty of sauce. There we have Herdwick Hoggett with lettuces and morels.